Well, here we are at the start of this film. What a fantastic opportunity I've got here. Opportunity of a lifetime, but I'm really looking forward to. And in fact, we're doing this intro partly into the film now, so I've already done a bit of fishing, and I can tell you, we're going to have some fun here. There's some great times. <laughs> and with Derek here, who's become a great new friend, uh, we met through Mithika, who he works for. I was doing a demo, an art demo for them. And uh, he turns out to be a man after my own heart with even some past history and things. We come from the same sort of period of time, so we're looking at the same sorts of films and stuff in the past. Great character, local river keeper here on the wharf. So, uh, so Derek, how long have you been uh, living in this area? Well, I've lived here for 30 years now, but I've been fishing here, man and boy. Started at about seven years old. One of my dad's favourite places, New York came on the wharf. I think you can see the river behind us. Got barbel, chub, brooch, dace, perch, pike. Just about every breed of river fish you can think of. Fantastic fishing. I've chopped down my cat, type of guy that likes chopping down with a float. Maggot. Yeah. Peter's into a chub here, his first cast, on floating bread. It's not a chub, it's a lovely brown trout, I thought that was a bit strange. A brown trout. The beauty of that, beautiful brown trout look. <laughs> Would you believe it on bread? <laughs> well, in bread. Arrived at the ferry at Stranraer, ready to go across to Belfast and Ireland. It's just a bit good, isn't it? So we've arrived and we're taking our first look down at the lock.
Can you see any fish rising? Can you see any fish rising? Yeah, well happy. It's beautiful. Yeah, tranquil. What we need. All we need now is to see some big rises. composition here somewhere okay, let's go for a little walk and see if we can catch some pike in our first evening here and what a beautiful scene isn't it Just look at this. Go to a little go at now. There's some wee trout just start right here at the end. I have no idea how well these lures will work. They're part of a bulk set I got from France. They're not very heavy. But I think I can get out just far enough. I'm going to set up just down here in the corner. Good bit of flow. Meow. Meow. House comes with a ready built in cat. Yes, you do, don't you? You want some food, don't you? It's in the cupboard, I know. Little kitten cats. And of course, you've already seen the view, but it's a lovely big cabin. Very nicely designed, spacious, clean, 
and as I say we're building cat. Inside, built in dog, heating, upstairs, lounge and a large double bedroom ensuite downstairs. Nice big dining area, kitchen, oven, microwave, built-in second fisherman, cans of Guinness through to cooker here. Everything, all mod comms, all here, extractor, everything. So the smallest detail, washing machine and fridge and freezer. Dishwasher is not working but normally is. Waste bin going through this way, back out the little door and there's another double bedroom down there and a bathroom here, shower and a bedroom in here, and a, another family, doubles and bunks. So there's enough for three families. Come on doggy. Double in there. Going upstairs. Oh, very nicely, all done in pine. Very clean. Even real paintings. And a double bedroom here that I've taken which has lovely views over the lake and an ensuite here, perfect for me with a shower as well, wow, everything a man could want even a wee bath and the other side is the upstairs lounge which also has some games in it, like table football can't go wrong. What's in here? Nothing. Okay, that's locked. So, very pleasant time. And I've got some food here for him, so you can have a nice nosh, can't you? Yes.
Well, we're at our first venue and uh, the water's much higher than I expected. There's quite a bit of flow actually. You can see all the duckweed coming out down here. Go on this corner and so we can get on bread, sweet corn, maggots. This is what I'm going to fish today. Something. I've come down to this lovely little lake this morning. We've got another day here, hopefully. I've seen some nice fish topping already. I think we pike about two, so after yesterday's little disaster with all those boats and duckweed and mess, where I just caught a few tiddlers and simply gave up in the end because of the traffic and the noise. Here, absolutely different. Tranquil, peaceful. Two cars in the background, yes, but no fishermen here this morning yet. And uh, hardly a breath of wind on the, on the lake. Should be nice. So let's see what I can do here for the day. I've had a run on the pipe rod then. It's a bit suspicious. Let's have a look and see. No. Nope. Nothing wrong with that. There's plenty of tiddlers in it. Let's see if we can get anything decent. Well, looks like we've got something decent on sweet corn at last. I don't know what yet. We'll find out. Oh, it's a nice little roach. A bit better. Yeah, that's on sweet corn. Looking up a little bit. First decent fish of the day, a nice little roach on sweet corn. Put him back in again. Yep, that's a small pike. Come out of there, you're not going to get much of a fight, you're not that big. <laughs> Well, yep. Yeah. I'll let you do the honours. Can we get the same one? <laughs> Turn ho, little jack. I have to get my forceps up here for taking it right down. I put it slightly deeper. That's what happened there. All oh, right, he's off. Didn't really want that one anyway, did but go when they go. Yes, another small one. Let's go to the bait this time. Oops. <laughs> oh, small jet bikes, but at least it's some sport. Where he goes. Well, things looking up a little bit. Well, that's the first morning, and we've had small, three small jack bike, very small jack bike, and I've had a couple of smaller roach out, about 30 tiddlers, and one or two reasonable, but no bream, no tench, nothing uh, serious as yet. Well, here we are now at the River Shallon, 
we'll go down here. Big wide river. And this young lady's got a boat here and she's very kindly given us a couple of coffees and mine with a bit of whiskey in too. Very nice. <laughs> yes! Now we're back for the evening light and there's this beautiful line of flowers, these wild flowers growing here with the light catching the, the whites of the seeds. Irresistible. They'd make a nice painting of themselves, wouldn't they? Well, let's go down to the water and see if it's worth painting down there. Could be a painting here. I'm going to go at having a watercolour out here from this place spot here. Get on my little seats and see if I can manage to produce one on a curved surface like that. Looking out over here as the sun gets a bit lower. Might be to manage something there. Quite a nice scene out there. First of all I'll go and get some lock water. paper stays where you can see it. I think the larger of the mop should do the job. I'll just get my water and I might get at it. I'm going to start with this very light oriole or lemon yellow just to get my, my highlights going back here. To move back to.
morning. You get you in the picture, shall we? Certainly, yeah, a lot brighter than all this way. Like. Well, a new day has dawned, and we're going to go and fish a canal this morning. So I don't know what we're going to get there. It'll be interesting. There's supposed to be a tench hole just over the other side of this. Getting a bike, you got a bike. Well, I put the worms out because apparently there's some big perch here, but at the moment we've got the little baby one. But just a start. And another little perch. Very baby. But 
you can see the teeth marks on it from some pike here, look. Two there and there. And this time, a little gudgeon. What a lovely, isn't it? Well, got a little jack pike on here. Very small. But it shows us something in there at least. Tiny little fellow, look. Well, we're still only going with the small stuff, but get a big one by the end of the week, possibly. Perch again, I think. Quite nice to fish these. Well, the last one had been eaten by pike. There we go. Really for him. No, I'm not taking the worm, I don't know. Nice little perch. Up with the fin, come on. That's it. There we are, not a huge fish, but best of the day so far. Yeah, nice little perch. I think there's one on here. Yep, little jack pike again. little perch on a small gudgeon that's on this line. Just going to lean that off a little bit. It's a very light trace so that's nice to have a decent fish on. Tried it on worm, wouldn't take it. But a wee gudgeon and uh, we're into something more reasonable at last. It's not huge but by today's standards, by this week's standards so far it's the biggest yet. <coughs> Let's hope it doesn't come off. Well, there's a nice little perch, isn't that? About a pound. Well, I expected the one that came earlier. Let's come out. They're not very big, but at least there's some sport.
There's a new tiddler. Well, another day ends and we're back to a, a misty, slightly damp evening. Now a nice evening meal after all that and the cat's having its own out there. Got most of the chicken. Don't you puss cat? Another nice morning. Missed the sun. Sunrise this morning though. But uh, it's a bit grey again now. Now then.
much. <laughs> Go on that bit. <laughs> this will make him laugh. <laughs> oh dear. Get off it. Right, right. Discard it. where all the curry gold comes from. They're all having a nose eh? Yeah. Mirror calm. Beautiful day here now after the rain. These lovely rural scenes. So it's Thursday, second to last day. Come to a little lake here which has some pike and some tench. Rained heavily all night so the water levels up as you can see here at the slipway. But uh, it's a lovely looking lake. Well, it's now Thursday, our second to last day here. And come to this beautiful little lake way out in the country. Everything's right out in the country here. Uh, incredible countryside. It's been a very interesting week. We've had reasonable weather this morning. It rained all last night, which is why the water's higher. And it looked like being set in for the day, but fortunately now it looks better. So I'm here at the water's edge with an archetype swim. Lilies on one side, reeds on the other. The pike in here as well. So I'll have a go at dead baiting and uh, maybe doing a bit of lure fishing later. And for bottom fish at the moment, see if we can get a tench even. Who knows what we might get today. The uh, fishing unfortunately hasn't been as good as I'd hoped for. But having said that, it's been very interesting and lovely to see Ireland. Um, the reason being that the very low water this year and lack of rainfall has meant the water's been very low. We started an algae bloom, which I think, but what the locals are saying and I can see is probably the truth, is it's driven the fish back into the deep water. So apart from lakes like this where they, they can't get anywhere, um, a lot of the rivers, the Shannon and so on, we fished, uh, have, uh, the fish have gone into deeper water 
or around the edge of the lakes or the tributaries they've gone back out into the deeper water um, and haven't come back in again since the rains have just started again but we're just, just in between times. My friend that I came with has uh, had very good fishing over here in the past in coming 30 odd years and came this spring and caught tremendous uh, volumes of fish a hybrid bream and so on. I um, haven't seen those, I've only seen one or two of them uh, for the reason that early in the season there was plenty of water fish were fresh, hadn't been caught now with this algae bloom and the water in just coming up again and having been fished all, the th and having been fished all through the summer not quite so easy but as I say, very interesting and lovely introduction to Ireland and uh, it's been very enjoyable all the same beautiful spot but actually a bit shallow so I'm going to go back down by the slipway where it's a little bit deeper and uh, finish there Here's a good house. Yes. And there's even a few puppies left still. Oh yeah. Right now to see if we can get a little one to try and get this jack pike out that's just bitten off my trace and is making a nuisance of itself. I just got back from walking around the pond with the lure, put some maggots out here, there's a swirl and I thought oh yes jack pike and then before I could get a, 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 a dead bait out it uh, took one of the fish I was bringing in and a bit of the hook. So I'm going to see if I can get another small fish and put a small pipe ring out for it. 
so that little jackpot is just taken. Right. I'll have to let my stock of fish out. That's the stock today. Let all those go and get this pike into it. This monster pike. Let's get him out of the light. <laughs> yeah. Whoop. It is the biggest pike of the trip. Well, I'm not a huge pike this trip, but this is the largest one yet. Just finished the week off. We might get another one later on. We might get another one tomorrow. But it's been a very enjoyable time. Looks like we might have got a what? What the bloody hell is that? A little tiny pike. I couldn't ask him what it was for a minute. I thought we'll have to bream and what we get but this tiny little pike that look big enough for bait. in August. Drop the thickest, yeah. After I'm to go and try and do another pastel back for the evening for some homemade soup. Got all my stuff here ready to go. Tripod. Paints, pastels, paper, seats, and we're going to go down there and see if we can get the sunset. Let's try and get a pastel of water done. Right.
one of our last days here and look at this beautiful scene this morning as the mist rises in the distance across the lock So, a good hearty fisherman's breakfast before we go out for our last day. Yeah. From this. <laughs> That's your favourite fish though, isn't it? And Derek just loves his pike, especially on his light tackle and his special rod. Got perch now. Yeah, there's a lot of little ones out here. Quite nice root amongst them too. There we go. Another nice little Shannon roach. Lovely roach. Beautiful conditioned fish. Just look at that. Isn't that just fine? Got a better pike on here.
did you get that? <laughs> Yes, please. Because I, unless I can't get right down there, don't I? Unless you, unless you take it up the steps, but it's not quite done yet. <laughs> Here he comes. No, try him again. I'll try and get him in head first for you. No, he's not quite there yet. Bloody powerful fish. Just to watch that spare up. That's it, got him. <laughs> we hope we've got him anyway. That's well done, super. Do you think we should go and get the mat or uh, be out on the grass? net it for you now. Yes please. All right. Eleven eight. Eleven eight. eight. So, looks than so yeah it did look bigger than that, yeah. Are you sure your scales is working? No, no I, I said about twelve. I said about twelve pounds. These are one of them that you know. Eleven eight. That's big enough. That's <laughs> big enough for the week. Let's take him back and put him in next to your swim. I'm gonna put him back by the net. So 11 pound 8 ounce, it's not a huge fish, but the, very the, fit fish. The mouth's on them. Oh, yeah. Fought like an 18 pounder. Yeah, it looks like a big fish. That's why I say I wondered if your, if your skis were working. <laughs> There he goes, yeah. Well, we get some very nice roots today, as well as you can see here. Very unusual corvid here, black and white jackdaw, is it?
Derek Scott back to fishing under the bridge again. Is that any good? Chips and fried chicken. <laughs> Now we're on our way back, just stopping off at an Irish car boot for fun, just to see what they've got. Oh. <laughs> Good selection actually, yeah. Nice cabbages. <laughs> that milk trying to be good. Huh? No idea what they are. Probably some What's the rainbow got now? Got all those masses here, yeah.
Lord Ted Ryan. We would like to thank you for choosing to sail with Stella Line. It has been our pleasure to have been of service to you today.